morning and welcome to Ms. Dabney's biology class here at the Academy of Virginia Randolph. Today we are going to be covering SOL topic bio 5A which talks about cell growth and division. Uh, we spent a lot of time yesterday and the day before kind of preparing and introducing this topic so that today we could all give a lot of input. We can analyze, differentiate, and discuss the differences between the processes that occur during mitosis, right? And so yesterday we spent a good amount of time reviewing this poster to give us a little bit more information as to what was going on with everything, right? And so we said that the cell spent the majority of its time where? In interphase, right? And we know that interphase is divided into how many subphases? Three. Three, right? And those three phases are G1, S, and G2. And after we move on from that, we then go into the mitotic or M phase, right? And then we go into cytokinesis where the cytoplasm is actually moved or split into two cells. Today we are just going to further that. Everybody at this point should have the four sheets that are on the back table. Um, everybody should also have a paddle board, all right? Before we actually get into today's notes and get into the snapshot and everything, we are going to do a quick review. Minute to win it, all right? So you have a minute to win something from my box. Now with this shaving cream, I'm going to come around and put a small little ch on everybody's desk. You guys are gonna spread it out, but spread it out with enough width, okay, that you can put one, two, three, and four. There are going to be four questions that I'm going to ask you. You guys are going to write your answers in the shaving cream, okay? I'm going to come around to see how we are critically thinking through this. One of our um, HLPs that we're using today is to be a critical thinker, all right? We also wanna be collaborators, so if Jordan gets stuck, Jordan should be able to ask Maya or Tony, hey, what is this? All right, any questions? Everybody ready? Okay, once you get your shaving cream, you can only just go ahead and put it on your, like spread it out. You can't do anything else with it. And it helps to clean these desks when they dirty, mm -hmm. filthy. <laughs> spread it out on your desk. You're supposed to spread it out wide, Torrance, wide. So it should look like this. Spread it wide. See? If you get a little extra on your hands, it's totally okay, right? I feel like a giant cream. <laughs> All right, so number in your shaving cream. One, two, three, and four. And if you put your shaving cream on your hands, eventually it'll evaporate off. All right. Now, question number one. Everybody ready? Uh, ready, Eddie, ready? Nah, I'm ready. <laughs> question number one. Question number one says, where does the cell spend the majority of its time? Again, where does the cell spend the majority of its time? We just talked about this. <laughs> Question number two. What phase is it when the chromosomes line the middle? What phase is it when the chromosomes line the middle? Or those X's we talked about yesterday. Use all resources provided to you. Look at all the resources provided to you. I told you it would have happened. Yeah. Question number three. Cytokinesis. At the end of cytokinesis, how many cells do we have? Oh. 
Look at the book. Last question. Mitosis. If our parent cell has 20 chromosomes, how many chromosomes does the daughter cell have? Y'all ready? Good job, Naya. All right, Tony is two. Jordan has all four. Good job. Maya has all four. Good job. Trey, I'm going to beat you up. So this is our review, right? Yesterday, we discussed mitosis. We said that mitosis was about what? What is mitosis about? Why is it even important? It's about cells, right? And why are cells important? Y'all can erase that or like just keep rubbing it in and it'll go away. I mean, that's what makes us. That's what makes us, right? So when we talk about growth, right, and us growing, how do we grow? Our cells doing what? Dividing, right? And so mitosis is the division of our cells, which is extremely important because do we look like what we looked when we were three? No, right? We're much taller. We're much larger. We have hormones. We have so many different things, right? And so when we talk about mitosis, are we talking about sex cells or are we talking about body cells? Body cells, right? So things like our liver, things like our, what else, kidneys, right? Our hair, our nails, our skin. Those are the types of things that we are talking about when we talk about mitosis. All right, so let's read this, right? The process of DNA replication is necessary before a cell. When we talk about DNA replication, right? Where is that happening? Somebody write that on their board. Where is that happening? Where is DNA replication happening as we talk about interphase? Because we know it's happening during interphase, but what part of interphase is it occurring? Is it G1? S or G2? So is it occurring during G1? Is it occurring during S? Or is it occurring during G2? Yes, yes. No, no. But why not though? So let's talk about it, right? When we talked about interphase, and we put it into our three subphases. What were those three subphases that we referred to? G1, S, and G2. So when we drew our circle out, we said we had G1, S, and G2, and all of these were a part of interphase, right? But what was actually occurring during G1? That's the start of what? Growth, right? So we're growing. But after we grow and we get to the S phase, then what occurs? Now we are starting to replicate that DNA, right? And so we know that we have chromatin, which looks like this, and then we have our chromosomes. So we are starting to replicate this because we haven't yet turned it or condensed into chromosomes yet. So we know that this question is talking about interphase, all right? Which of these can we slash? So if this was our SOL test and we were using our strategy, slash the trash. What questions can we slash? All right, so we can get rid of A, right? Codes for RNA molecules. We definitely know it's not talking about RNA. What else can we get rid of? B, modifies lysosome enzymes. All right, what do lysosomes do? Enzymes are a part of proteins. Lysosomes help to break down food. They work as a digestive part in the cell. And so that leaves us with C and D. What is the best answer choice? C. C, right? C, it divides into two cells. So the process of DNA replication mm, Lord, is necessary before a cell can divide into two cells, all right? So we have to divide, we have to replicate before we can divide. Next question, the Jimson weed deter Stramonium normally has 12 chromosomes in its body cell. 
How many chromosomes will an egg cell of the weed have? What's important? What did I circle? Body cells. Body cells. Why did I circle body cells? Because body cells don't have anything to do with what? Sexual reproduction, right? They don't have anything to do with reproduction. So we know that our number is going to be the what? The same. The same because mitosis is a diploid, diploid process. Which means that the correct answer, yes, Jordan, yes, Tony, is B. Any questions? No. All right, so we are going to finish the video that we started yesterday. So look, this is a little joke. Mitosis, it happens every single second. Get it? Like, it's always happening. Like, ha ha. It's just keeps, y'all are whack. Whatever. I get those. Mm-hmm. look down at your leg or your because that's something different called meiosis which sounds like mitosis unfortunately but it's a different process mitosis is done all right so we're going to fast cells. forward through some of this because My, we went through a bit of this yesterday it's kind of like actually a phase called interphase where it's growing and replicating its dna and carrying out its daily cell functions that's where cells spend most of their time in respect to the whole cell cycle Mitosis is a very short amount of time in respect to the whole cell cycle. But mitosis is a critical process because this is where it is going to divide and make more cells. Before we get into the steps of division, it's really important to understand that your cells have something inside them, an organelle called... So who remembers the steps of division? Who remembers those for that acronym from yesterday? Yes, Maya. Thank you, P-M-A-T, PMAT, right? Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. So when we talk about prophase, we are saying that what is occurring? We are now having or seeing chromosomes, all right? So that chromatin is condensed into chromosomes. So when we refer back, we can see, oh, okay. So during prophase, now I have chromosomes, all right? And chromosomes, are two sister chromatids that connect at the centromere. So if I have Torrance, give me Torrance. So if Torrance and I are standing side by side, right? And we hold hands, and if I push my hand out and Torrance puts his hand out, we are now a chromosome, right? I am one half and he is the other half. I'm a sister chromatid, he's a sister chromatid, and together we connect at our centromere. So how many sister chromatids then make up one chromosome? Two, all right? So there are two sister chromatids to every one chromosome. This is going to play an importance later on when they start to ask us how many pairs as opposed to how many sister chromatids, all right? By a pair, we are now saying that we have how many sister chromatids? Two. two. When it asks us for just one, well, it's the single, all right? Remember that. Because when we get here to telophase, so at anaphase, what do we see? What's the difference between metaphase right here and anaphase right there? They split, right? And so now we have what on both sides? Sister chromatids, right? So now we have sister chromatids on both sides. Well, what happens when we get to telophase? What does that look like? We have two new nuclei, and those sister chromatids that separated now go where? Into the two new nuclei that are formed. Does everybody see that? Yeah. Okay. Don't let the quiz come by next week, and you didn't see it and didn't ask a question, Tony B. Yes, and the nucleus holds your DNA. DNA is the genetic material that makes up your DNA. 
It's your genetic information. And if you're going to make more cells, you need to have the same DNA in those new cells as you did in your original cells. You want it to be identical, no mistakes, very important. The problem is you've got a lot of DNA. And we've got to get that DNA into the new cells using mitosis. So there has to be a better way to organize that DNA. Well, what actually happens is that DNA can be organized into these condensed units called chromosomes. Chromosomes are made of DNA and protein. You've probably heard before that humans have 46 chromosomes. That means 46 chromosomes are found in most human body cell nuclei. What are nuclei? Well, it's the plural of nucleus. You don't say nucleuses, you say nuclei. Well, in the nuclei, there are 46 chromosomes. Organizing DNA into condensed chromosomes makes it a lot easier to move over when you're making new cells. So if you have 46 chromosomes in a human body cell, you have to duplicate those chromosomes in interphase before mitosis starts. That basically means you are duplicating your DNA since chromosomes are made of DNA and protein. You have to do this before mitosis starts because if you're going to make an identical cell that has 46 chromosomes, just like the original, well, it makes sense you have to duplicate the genetic material before splitting. So if you look at our cell cycle video clip, we talk about interphase. That's a stage where most of the time cells are spending their time. They're actually duplicating their DNA during that time. So, and we know that interphase is broken down into what three subphases? G1, S, and G2, right? Why, again, is that important? Because it prepares us for mitosis, and then mitosis allows us to go through these steps. Thank you so much for joining our class today. We hope that you enjoyed our lesson on mitosis. Go, go Knights! Knights!